वेलकम अगेन टू आवर यूट्यूब चैनल सिविल एज यू ऑनलाइन दिस इज द थर्ड पार्ट ऑफ द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन फॉर कंस्ट्रक्शन प्लानिंग एंड मैनेजमेंट सो इफ यू हैव नॉट सीन द प्रीवियस टू पार्ट एंड यू कैन चेक दैम ऑन अवर यूट्यूब चैनल प्लीज वॉच दैम बेस्ट दिज आर द इम्पॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन विच हैव क्वाइट गुड प्रोबेबिलिटी टू बी आस इन द एग्जाम okay so we will continue with more questions in this video first question is independent float affects only preceding activities succeeding activities the particular activity involved and option d none of the above so correct answer is the particular activity involved next question site order book is used for recording option a instructions by the executive engineers option b construction measurements option c issue of store equipments option d names of the casual labor so correct answer in this case is instructions by the executive engineers when an engineer visits the site and he gives the instructions those instructions are written in the site order book which are recorded next question the time by which activity completion can be delayed without affecting the start of succeeding activities is known as duration total float free float interfering float the correct answer in this case is free float next question the part of a derrick crane includes mast boom bullwheel jack and which of these statements option a is given 1 2 and 4 are correct option b is given 2 3 4 and 4 are correct option c is given 1 3 and 4 are correct and option d is given 1 2 and 3 are correct so as you know the correct answer in this case is option d which is 1 2 and 3 are correct next question if the gross weight of a truck is 30 ton and rolling resistance is 30 kg per ton then the tractive effort required to keep the truck moving at a uniform speed is in this case correct answer is 900 kg if you calculate weight is given 30 ton rolling resistance is 30 kg per ton so if the resistance is equal to the weight because uh, normal force will be the weight and the rolling resistance is 30 kg per ton so 30 kg per ton into 30 so answer will be 900 kg and this will be equal to the tractive effort which will be required for keeping the truck to be moving at a constant which is a uniform speed next question works costing less than 20000 are treated as option a any project option b major project option c minor project option d all of the above the correct answer in this case is minor project next question a machine costs rupees 20000 and its useful life is 8 years the money is borrowed at 8% interest per annum the capital recovery factor at 8% interest per annum for 8 years is 0.174 the annual equipment cost of the machine would be so if you apply the formula you get the answer is 3480 next question railway projects are treated as light construction heavy construction industrial construction and none of the above so correct answer is heavy construction next question consider the following statements in critical path method of construction planning free float can be option 1 greater than the total float option 2 greater than the independent float 3 equal to the total float and 4 less than independent float out of these statements which statement are correct so as you know statement 2 and 3 are correct so our option b is the correct answer 
नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन पिक अप द करेक्ट स्टेटमेंट फ्रॉम द फॉलोइंग The duration between the earliest start time of the preceding event and the latest finish time of the succeeding event is called float. Next question: Duration of time by which an activity can be delayed without affecting the succeeding activity is called free float. The difference between total float and free float is called interfering float. So all the three options are correct, and hence. करेक्ट आंसर इन दिस केस इज ऑप्शन डी विच इज ऑल ऑफ दी अब नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन द ओरिजिनल कॉस्ट ऑफ एन इक्विपमेंट इज रुपीज टेन थाउजेंड इट्स सेल्वेज वैल्यू एट द एंड ऑफ इट्स टोटल यूजफुल लाइफ ऑफ फाइव इयर्स इज रुपीज थाउजेंड इट्स बुक वैल्यू एट द एंड ऑफ टू इयर्स ऑफ इट्स यूजफुल लाइफ विल बी and bracket it is given that as per the straight line method of evaluation of depreciation so you have to follow the method and answer comes out to be option c which is 6400 rupees next question For completion of the project, the critical path of the network represents option A minimum time, option B maximum time, option C maximum cost, and option D minimum cost. So correct answer is minimum time. Minimum time which is required. Next question. The maximum rim pull in first gear of a tractor. While towing a load of sixty-three hundred kg, the tractor weighs twelve point five tons and is operating along a two percent upgrade, and the rolling resistance is forty-five kg per ton. Pull available for towing towing the load is. If you calculate using the equilibrium conditions and the formula, you get the answer, which is fifty-five hundred fifteen kg. Next question: Which one of the following represents an event? Option A: Concrete cure. Option B: Fixing of door. Option C: Plastering of walls. And option D: Selecting sides. So, concrete cured. So it is completed. Hence, in this case, option A is the correct answer. It represents an event. Next question: The rate. Weighted loads of lifting cranes as percentage of tipping load at specific radius for crawler mounted and pneumatic tire mounted machines would be respectively option A eighty to ninety option B ninety to eighty option C eighty five seventy five option D seventy five and eighty three so correct answer is seventy five and eighty three which is option D for crawler mounted it would be seventy five and for pneumatic tire mounted it would be eighty three. Next question: Part is an analytical concept, limited of event-oriented diagrams. Option C, used for research and development projects. So, as all the three options are correct, a correct answer for this case is all of the above. Okay. Next question. Optimistic time, most likely time, and pessimistic times for the activities of a network in the given figure are written above the arrows. If the contractual obligation time for the project is seventy-five, the latest occurrence time for the event two is. So T E is given to us contractual obligation time. It is seventy-five. Okay, and hence we need to time find out the latest occurrence time. For the event two, so in this case we need to calculate first the TL for one two. This can be calculated from backward backward method. So from seventy five TL for the three four event would be seventy five TL for the 
टू थ्री इवेंट कैन बी कैलकुलेट सब्सिक्वेंटली एंड टी एल फॉर द वन टू इवेंट कैन बी कैलकुलेटेड विच कम्स आउट टू बी ट्वेंटी फाइव बिकॉज सेवेंटी फाइव माइनस फिफ्टीन विल बी द टी एल फॉर थ्री टू थ्री एंड अगेन विल डिडक्ट थर्टी फाइव इन दैट सो अवर आंसर कम्स आउट टू बी ऑप्शन बी विच इज ट्वेंटी फाइव नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन एंड अर्थ मूविंग इक्विपमेंट कॉस्ट रुपीज फाइव लैख एंड हैज एन एस्टिमेटेड लाइफ ऑफ टेन ईयर्स एंड सालवेज वैल्यू ऑफ फिफ्टी थाउजेंड वॉट यूनिफॉर्म एन्यूअल अमाउंट मस्ट बी सेट असाइड एट द एंड ऑफ ईच ईयर ऑफ द टेन ईयर्स फॉर रिप्लेसमेंट इफ द इंटरेस्ट रेट इज एट परसेंट पर एन एम एंड इफ सिंकिंग फंड फैक्टर एट एट परसेंट पर एन एम इंटरेस्ट रेट फॉर टेन ईयर्स इज पॉइंट जीरो सिक्स नाइन सो यू हैव टू कैलकुलेट दिस एंड द करेक्ट आंसर इज थर्टी वन थाउजेंड फिफ्टी नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन आउटपुट ऑफ अ बुलडोजर इज ऑप्शन वन इंक्रीज इफ द ड्रॉबार एच पी ऑफ ट्रैक्टर इज इंक्रीज फॉर गिवन हॉलिंग डिस्टेंस नंबर टू डिक्रीज इफ द ड्रॉबार एच पी ऑफ द ट्रैक्टर इज इंक्रीज फॉर अ गिवन हॉलिंग डिस्टेंस नंबर थ्री इंक्रीज इफ द हॉलिंग डिस्टेंस इज इंक्रीज फॉर अ गिवन ड्रॉबार एच पी ऑफ द ट्रैक्टर नंबर फोर डिक्रीज इफ द हॉलिंग डिस्टेंस इज इंक्रीज फॉर अ गिवन ड्रॉबार एच पी ऑफ द ट्रैक्टर सो आउट ऑफ दिस स्टेटमेंट स्टेटमेंट वन एज वेल एज स्टेटमेंट फोर आर करेक्ट सो अवर करेक्ट आंसर फॉर दिस क्वेश्चन इज ऑप्शन बी नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन फॉर द एग्जीक्यूशन ऑफ अ प्रोजेक्ट ए कॉन्ट्रैक्टर इज ऑप्शन ए अ पर्सन ऑप्शन बी अ फॉर्म ऑप्शन सी अ एजेंसी एंड ऑप्शन डी ऑल ऑफ दी अबो सो यस करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑल ऑफ दी अबो कॉन्ट्रैक्टर इज ऑल्सो अ फॉर्म इट इज ऑल्सो अ पर्सन एंड इट इज ऑल्सो एन एजेंसी विच एग्जीक्यूट द प्रोजेक्ट we will also discuss more questions in the next video so please stay tuned to our channel and if you have not subscribed do subscribe the channel as well as click the bell icon so that you can get the notifications of our videos thank you